Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily message for November the 10th. If you can tell, I'm getting my voice back, so that feels amazing. Um, let's see what kind of message needs to come through for the collective today. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you, so please do only take what resonates and leave behind the rest. We're in this powerful portal gateway already, and we're getting closer to the eclipse season. So I do feel a lot is leaving our life in order for us to really step into that higher vibration. So let's see what needs to come through with the cards when it comes to a message today. Um, if you haven't yet, do feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel. And let's jump right in. What do we need to be aware of when it comes to a message today for the collective? What kind of a message needs to come through today? Oh, lots. Okay, are you coming out of the dark night of the soul? I think maybe you've been in a deep, dark, uncomfortable, and powerful evaluation of your life, your purpose, all of your past relationships. And I do feel um, a new unveiling when it comes to the energies because I do feel you're at a pivot point. Somebody here is at a pivot point at a fork in the road, um, really needing to make an important decision that is going to have a, substan a substantial impact when it comes to the future. And I do feel somebody has been in some dark evaluation and learning a major lesson, maybe about giving and receiving, sharing, forgiveness. I think get ready for a shift because somebody here is in a false foundation and I believe it is stemming around a divine masculine energy going through a very painful evaluation when it comes to a false foundation, when it comes to a status quo, um, materialism, greed, um, and there is a need to release a false foundation. There is a need for a divine masculine to exhibit some assertion, some logic, and to take some action. So I do feel there's going to be progression forward because there is a paradigm shift in the energies when it comes to releasing these outdated and ineffective belief patterns, toxicity, materialism, and greed. And I do feel there is a major lesson being learned when it comes to reciprocity, giving and receiving. Um, maybe there's not been a healthy exchange and there is a need for balance to be restored. I think there is a need to share, to speak some truth. I think there is a divine masculine about to learn something new that he didn't learn before. And I do feel a masculine getting ready to reach out and share this new knowledge that they have obtained because I do feel um, somebody here, a masculine here, is going through a period of self-actualization on the road to achieving full potential and understanding his core strengths and how to use them for the betterment. So I do believe there's been a lot of communication from the spiritual realm in dream space, visions, and I do feel important messages are coming through, prophetic messages, when it comes to stepping into the next leg of your journey. And forgiveness is going to be key. So I do feel a masculine here that likely has harbored a lot of bitterness and resentment really needing to own and take accountability for their journey and to release their heart from this pain um, to step into forgiveness. So liberation is in highlight today as, as there is a pivot point when it comes to maybe igniting um, your passions. I do feel something is speaking to this divine masculine's heart and there's about to be a shift in creativity when it is stemming around partnerships and a work situation. So let's see what else needs to come through with the Sacred Traveler's deck today. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to this message today? Valiant Courage. I do think there is a masculine here getting ready to find his strength, his determination, his fortitude to um, come out of silence, to come out of solitude, and to have that valiant courage, I think, to reach his destination. I do feel um, somebody here is shining their light very brightly, which is triggering a pivot point or a paradigm shift when it comes to a masculine taking action with passion. And I do feel a masculine here that has been in solitude, that has been in the dark night of the soul. And in that silent, um, reverent evaluation, 
that is where truth and peace prevails. So let's see what the influencing energies are when it comes to this message today. What are the influencing energies, please? I feel a very Knight of Wands energy, an unexpected departure or an unexpected arrival. And I do feel this liberation from past pains. And there is going to be a substantial decision made um, that is going to impact quite a few people, I feel. And maybe there is a masculine in need of some professional assistance, some spiritual guidance. Maybe there is a divorce proceeding at play. I just feel the signing of a new contract. And if you've been struggling, there is about to be an increase in finances, love, and positive energy as you kind of step into a new cycle. Maybe there's going to be a new creative endeavor because I do feel in the energy, creativity is being sparked. And maybe this is about a divine masculine stepping into being a spiritual teacher or coming forward, seeking a spiritual teacher, seeking some more information. There is somebody here that has been in a deep, dark maze of thoughts and evaluation especially when it comes to their life as a whole, taking accountability and, and reaching a place of peace. I think there's been a lot of back and forth. There's been a lot of indecision. And I think decision time is now. Pivot point time is right now. So let's see what is being evaluated when it comes to these energies. What is being evaluated in the energies today? When it comes to this divine masculine in a false foundation, no place like home. I think somebody's been in a false foundation and they're feeling very left out in the cold. I do feel this energy of in-between worlds. A masculine hasn't quite stepped into the newness of this new vibration, still kind of in that dark energy, one foot in the old door and one foot in the new energy and... There is a masculine getting ready to leave a false foundation behind because his heart is calling him back home, I feel, when it comes to a spiritual connection. So, very interesting. Uh, let's see what needs to come through with the tarot today. I'm going to use the gilded, um, the gilded Tarot Royale and we'll see what needs to come through with the tarot when it comes to this message. I do feel like a huge aha moment when it comes to what somebody is needing to do to clear some karma, to take some action. I feel a lot of unveiling in the energies and somebody is getting ready to go to the sea, I feel. So we get the five of pentacles and the two of wands reverse. So there is this lack energy, this out in the cold energy, struggling financially. I do feel a masculine that might be struggling financially, maybe experiencing a job loss or um, an ending of a false foundation. I do feel there's going to be victory and success. I feel somebody is getting left out in the cold. Maybe somebody has been ghosted in the past. But there is victory here and there is a message coming with the Page of Swords as the central energy today. We also have the King of Pentacles on the board. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. There is a masculine, I think, getting ready to come forward and offer loyalty, commitment, stability. And that's the truth. So there is, there is a lot of truth, revelation, and self-actualization. And this divine masculine very well could be an earth sign or have heavy earth placements. But I do feel a lot of heart energy coming through with this shift as somebody kind of breaks free from this dark night of the soul. I think something is about to be put to a dead stop. Maybe there is going to be an emotional outburst as somebody kind of gets left behind as a masculine kind of steps into his purpose. Could be dealing with a cancer. Strong Cancer and Strong Earth. So we'll get the last couple cards out and we'll see what else needs to come through when it comes to this message. The last card out is the sun. So whatever struggles you might be facing, there are happier times ahead. And this is without a doubt about equal giving and receiving reciprocity. I do feel a feminine here that was not getting what she deserved. Um, perhaps this masculine in the past was giving to more than one. And I do feel a flip in the energy, a paradigm shift. I do feel somebody has been withholding their true feelings, withholding communication, maybe trying to 
hold back um, their next plans forward. But there is something coming back around that is needing to be addressed in order for a cycle to completely close out, in order for a solid foundation to come together. So there is a couple of fours. There is a lot of divine protection in the energy, and I think somebody has been blocking the truth. There's a, there's a deep level of self-deception in the energies when it comes to stepping into healing and working together. So there is a pre-empress energy on the board, somebody that is very independent, very single, doing well, quite enjoying the finer things in life. And I feel there is a need to balance some energies. So we do get the five of pentacles with the two of wands reversed. So there's that stuckness, that indecision, um, needing to choose a direction. And I do feel somebody here is about to get the rug pulled out from under them because the pathway is illuminated. And maybe there was somebody in a false foundation um, clinging to control for materialistic aspects, um, really focused on their pentacles rather than the heart. And maybe somebody, you know, wanted to come back victorious, grounded, stable, and solid in their financial stability before sending a message. I think get ready to receive a message I also have this feeling of somebody's been watching from behind the scenes, maybe spying on your social media, and there is going to be a, a moment of truth, a moment of revelation um, when it comes to this connection. I do feel somebody is about to experience a huge emotional outburst with the chariot reversed and the ace of cups reversed, and there's going to be something illuminated when it comes to this heart energy. I feel like an outpouring of emotions. I I do feel get ready for an unexpected departure or arrival because blocks are being removed as somebody kind of sees the light for the first time and really sees the messages that have been coming through in order to be able to take action with passion because somebody here is missing their home, missing a family structure, a, a feeling of stability, and I do feel somebody wants to rush in to this very single feminine energy to balance some scales. So let's see what this five of pentacles is about. Death, eight of wands, the lovers. Yeah, there is a major transformation taking place within a divine masculine's world. The divine masculine on the bottom, the emperor. So there is a masculine that is getting ready to burn some bridges to make an unexpected choice in love. I do feel a deep past life connection. You've likely been connected telepathically. Somebody here is going through a major transformation, a shedding of the old to bring in the new, to learn a, a lesson when it comes to reciprocity. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries or a Gemini, but I think there has been some ghosting in the past. And there is a masculine about to get flipped on his ass, is kind of what I feel, in order to embrace this transformation, to come out of the darkness, and to make that very pivotal decision when it comes to this impact, when it comes to um, coming out of the silence. I do feel a, a long period of silence within a soulmate loving connection. Um, the lovers is a deep, deep spiritual connection. Um, there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of sexual energy. And there is going to be a lot of back and forth communication, I feel, after a period of ghosting, after a period of stagnancy, as a masculine, tr you know, tries to make these healthier choices. You very well could be communicating with this masculine in dream space. I kind of feel like being haunted by the ghosts of the past. And there is going to be a masculine getting ready to take action towards a solid foundation. I'm, I'm hearing legacy, building a legacy. And there is a need to close out a cycle when it is stemming around some past betrayals. Maybe there was betrayal in the past within this soulmate connection. And I do feel an emperor here that has been depressed, has been suppressed, just deeply longing for this one cup of love in a third party situation in the matrix. And there has been a lot of reminiscing about the past. And there is a masculine here deeply hurting in his heart, um, you know, trapped up in this evaluation of his life, needing to break free to have that victory. I do feel a period of separation coming to an end. And if you've been struggling, there is about to be an increase 
because I do feel you're about to receive a message. So let's see what this message is all about. Lies, deception within a committed partnership and somebody is leaving something behind. I do feel the truth is going to be unveiled within, within a false foundation. There is a higher power kind of bringing a soulmate connection together. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus. But there is a masculine going to reach out and let you know that he has snuck away from a committed partnership where there was a lot of lies, a lot of secrets, a lot of thieving, a lot of cheating. And there's been this indecision. There's been this back and forth about what is going to bring me happiness. I do feel a masculine in a period of depression due to disillusionment. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of arguing. And somebody here is getting ready to leave the fight behind. They don't want to fight anymore. They just want to bring this truth forward and to clear this energy. So what is this emotional outburst? What is this chariot and ace of cups reversed? Three of Pentacles, the star, Page of Wands. There is going to be an offer coming, a new exciting offer, a new creative spark, a new aha moment coming through when it comes to working together. I do feel get ready for somebody to reach out. They do want to work with you. They do want to bring healing forward. And you are their wish fulfillment. So there is a masculine getting ready to assert his logic to make a head over heart decision to break free from a very toxic codependent addictive relationship to break free from the throes of the devil uh could be dealing with a capricorn gemini libra aquarius aries leo sag but there is going to be a brand new beginning when it comes to a soulmate union there is going to be victory and success and there is a masculine gathering his strength to come forward to stand in his true authority um, to take charge of his life and, and to come after a soulmate union. And I think this has been a long time coming. I think there's been a lot of planning behind the scenes as, as a masculine's been in this very dark evaluation, trying to find the way out of this darkness. And forgiveness is going to be key. So get ready for a tower. There's going to be a paradigm shift and there is a masculine getting ready to offer his cup of love and there is going to be a destruction of a false foundation because we are building solid foundations out of love moving forward and whatever was built out of materialistic greed and false pretenses, addictions, codependencies is about to be blasted out of the water because the time is now. There has been a masculine in a period of deep soul searching, trying to master all of his abilities, all of his tools, to find his guiding inner light. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But there is a burden about to be finally released with this tower energy coming in. And a decision is about to be made because there is an important message that is needing to be delivered stemming around a new creative endeavor, um, an opportunity to work together. And you could be dealing with a high priestess. You could be dealing with with a card reader, a healer, um, somebody that has a direct connection to God's source energy. And somebody is getting ready, I feel, to come back on their knees and to ask for forgiveness in order to, you know, have this progression forward within a connection that I feel feels like home. So get ready to move. Somebody here is moving in, in a new direction, you know, stepping out of the darkness into the light. And you're going to need to be ready to receive. Be in that feminine energy of receiving because... There is a faded turn of events taking place as a masculine breaks free out of this silent, um, out of this desert passage, trusting in the divine plan and really choosing their path because infinite abundance is on the table. That ace of pentacles can grow into something solid, stable, and will last a lifetime. It will create a legacy. So... Get ready because all that glitters is coming to the surface to be released as somebody really opens up the floodgates of their heart and embraces this healing journey and this illumination. So let's see what needs to come through with the crystal stone deck when it comes to this message today. All right. Bottom of the deck, Laramar. So I do feel tempers are going to flare. There is going to be an emotional outburst as somebody breaks free from this sweltering, seething, very toxic, um, false foundation. And somebody here is about to just um, speak what they got to speak, roll it off the tongue. And I do think it's going to create an argument. So 
Um, be careful with articulating your words and the energies today because anger really has been standing between um, this masculine making a choice of stepping into a new di a new direction and and I do feel um, there's been a lot of confusion in the headspace. There is a need to organize your headspace and to really escape huh, this mental clutter at all at all costs because love is going to be in focus. There is going to be like an awakening when it comes to this transformation. Um, there is a final ending here and all endings do lead to new beginnings. So I do feel a masculine that's been feeling deeply lost, trying to go through the darkness to embrace this evolution and the energy is intensifying and insisting that action be taken, that that these thoughts be released and somebody really point their heart in the right direction. So. I do feel it's about simplifying your life. Um, slate cleaning here. It's about a clean slate, wiping the slate clean, blank canvas, so you can really focus on this new energy and stepping into the future to really maximize the energy coming through. There's a masculine in deep need of some breathing room. I feel somebody's constantly breathing down his neck. This never-ending onslaught of abuse and manipulation and control tactics and there is going to be a rebalancing, a realignment in the energies because this chronic indecision is no longer working. It's, it's decision time. It's, it's time to make that decision. You are at a fork in the road and the deadline on the horizon is right now. So what are you needing to decide on? Where are you needing to go? Are you going to swipe left? Are you going to swipe right? Because everything is going to be amazing when you go to the sea and you leave the past behind and you step into, you know, making your dreams your big life. So slow down. Take, take a moment to power up your solar plexus, power up your vitals, because there is a masculine, I feel, that has been completely bled dry, is completely depleted, and they're really starting to feel themselves, and I think it's very uncomfortable. I think somebody here has been lacking sleep, is lacking nourishment, and is really needing to drag their ass out of the gutter and to face this challenge head on in order to release this stagnancy because there's a lot of feelings in a connection here and the heart truly does want what it wants and there is a need to communicate after a long period of not communicating i feel after a long period of silence so get ready because um success is about to expand within a soulmate connection here and there is a faded turn of events as somebody kind of steps in to their teaching role steps out of this darkness this indecision and um, this is going to impact a lot of people, I feel. So get ready to receive because there is a need for a healthy exchange with others. And if you've not been compensated, get ready for a masculine to reach out um, to give you what it is that you deserve. So let's see what needs to come through with the daily guidance from the angels. One last message, please, from the angels. What else can you tell me about this message? Okay, the ocean and daydream. I do feel somebody has been dreaming. I do feel a lot of messages coming through in dream space. So open up your heart to receiving. Um, there's a lot of energy when it comes to feelings that have been hidden below the surface. And with the ocean energy, I kind of just feel like Somebody here is speaking to your soul. There's a masculine here that is in deep need of healing and soothing. And I feel um, there's, there's a masculine here getting ready to act. I feel they've been in this cosmic womb of darkness, spending a lot of time alone. And there is a need to wash away all of these worries and concerns in order to bring a soulmate connection together. So um, it, there, there's likely children involved. I'm feeling children involved. So there is a need to clear this negativity in order to bring harmony back into a foundation that is involving children. So th there is a need to clear your energy because there are children in need within a connection. And this is about stepping into purpose, I feel. So if you've been feeling damned, if you've been feeling like you're at rock bottom, then it's time to step into forgiveness because there is going to be abundance pouring into your life and there is going to be success. But I think you need to get the big picture, the view from above. And that's kind of what I have for a message today, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.